dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> right, today we're starting a new project in Homeforth. Open the dark. <laughs> starting a new project today in Homeforth. Full cottage to do. Well, it's a terraced cottage. And I'm going to walk you around quickly. I'm going to show you some bits that we're going to be doing. There's lots of variations going on here. Board work, floating work. There's going to be some insulation boards going on. There's going to be all sorts. So I'm going to walk you around everything, show you what we're going to do. And then, like I say, I'm going to be filming this throughout the, the process. I'm going to be here for a couple of weeks. So you'll get to see loads of different things. Right, let's go upstairs. these clients here, um, lovely couple, just got the house, he's put me in touch with him, he's done all the, the ceilings and the board work, so you can see up here, he's put false ceilings in, um, passed the board in them, everything's bang on, that's some neat board work right there, I'll tell you that, and anyway these external walls here, well partition walls, these are all going to get blue gritted and we're going to bond them up, a tight coat of bonding, filling out all the worst areas, trying to get it all level again. Obviously filling all chases in. Then when it comes to the external walls, now these walls, the walls on these houses are like that anyway, the thick as all. Well. We'll have no insulation in them. Um, but you know, the thickness of them anyway, you know what I mean? I mean they'll, they'll hold a bit of cold, you know what I mean? Or they'll hold a bit of heat as well. So we're putting on an insulation board over the top. 25 mil insulation board. That's what it is. So you've got insulation, 25 mil in the board there. Overall, 25 mil. So yeah, that's what's going on in here. These walls are going to get PVA and skimmed. They're sound. I'm just going to make good to some of and stuff like that. That's a boarding wall. Let's go to the next room. Same again throughout in here. He's done another great job in here again. Ceilings are on, bang on. Lovely, nice and flat. PVA and skim. That wall there, PVA and skim. This one, gritted, bonded, PVA, skin. This external wall is going to get insulation on again. It's been touched back up here and pointed in, so this is all ready to go. Solid, nice window there, keep it nice and quiet front road. Nice windows there, lovely. Right, sounds, next room. Little box room here. So this is what the ceilings look like when they aren't boarded. All metal work. Top parts, all that, so that's ready to go. Boards are there. Chris is gonna come in and board all this. Again, we're making good to this wall. And another insulation bar on this one. Quite a small room, this one, but it's still probably the trickiest one. <laughs> Being so tight. Hallway. Again, ceiling's getting put in. Boarded, skimmed. This wall's getting all um, gritted, bonded, um, nice and level as far as we can. Then we come down. So this here is going to be, um, I'm going to float this up, I'm going to use bonding and float this up because you won't be able to stick a board on it, it's just too tight in places, so I'm going to, I'm going to do that by uh, mixing up bonding and floating it up, so that's that, put some beads on here, let me come into the kitchen, Patty's dad, hello, <laughs> <laughs> he's doing some work here, he's sanding down beams for him, keeping all these original features and gorgeous. Try to keep it as far as we can, Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Fireplace is there, we put a table in front of it, um, just so we can clear up all the rest of the room so we can get to them. Um, but yeah, these beams are going to look well, nice. They're not that many, there's four in them. Yeah, yeah, and they're all the way there. That's going to look good. Nice. We've got to get new kitchen units on here, and you know, it'd just be nice. It's always easy to stick a board on. You know you can definitely get it fully plumbed, especially at work top height where you need it. Um, and it'll be a brand new wall from a fitter, so that's going to get dabbed. This has just been put in, this is a column. We could be on a floor, didn't we? Yes, it was. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was uh, bouncing up and down by an inch or two. Yeah. yeah. It's solid now. So yeah, put, put some timbers in there so that's sound. But that'll look nice, that'll look like a nice column. Take some more loose bits off and I'm going to and dab this one. It's got a load of sockets. I'm guessing TV and everything's off here. That's right. That's yeah. the media centre over there. The media centre, yeah. <laughs> it's got all the HDMI leads and everything already. 
Odin. Good sparky on this job as well. I'd say he is, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 was, I enjoyed working with him. You know what? Everything's all pinned in. You'd be surprised how many times you've got a job and these are just left. And you really? Oh, yeah, ah. terrible, yeah. Right. You've tacked them all in properly, so that makes our job easier. So, yeah, other than that, that's it. We've got a couple of walls in the cellar. Then we're just going to be skimming, that's it. So, yeah, that's the full job. Right, so what I'm going to do, the plan for this project is to get all the prepping done first. So, right, today's our first day, and what we're going to do is we're going to go around, we're going to grit all the walls that we're going to be bonding. We're going to PVA all the walls that are going to be taking um, a ball to get stuck to, i.e. the external walls that are getting um, they're getting insulation bars put on. So we're going, to, we're going to use adhesive, but we're also going to use a mechanical fixing as well, which I need to pick up from my yard. So I'm going to get that here tomorrow as well. So right now we're going to go around, we're going to grit everything, PVA everything, tape up any ceilings that are taped up. Uh, that need taping up, sorry, we're going to uh, do all the joints on them all, get all them ready. We're going to basically just get all the little tedious things that you need to do before you start applying material done today. So that's what we're going to do. Run around, do that, nice easy steady day. And then tomorrow we're going to get in and we're going to start sticking boards on. And, uh, you know, might get a scratch on some walls as well with bonding. But main thing is get all the board work done tomorrow. Next week, come back start filling in everything, bonding everything up, get everything ready, nice and ready to go. I like to pee, when I'm PVA you know, I like to PVA properly. So like, this wall's getting dabbed, yeah? And it's got loads of like different indents and stuff like that down here, which you can see all this here. Doing it with a brush, just can't get a roller over it. But the main reason I do that is because when I come to dabbing it, I just want to be able to stick my dabs absolutely anywhere. That I'm gonna need them instead of like some people. Uh, some people are selective where they're gonna do it. So when the PVA up, they might just do like you know all the perimeter and some lines down the middle because we're only dabbing there. For me, I just think PVA the full wall and then literally it doesn't matter where I put my dabs. I put them wherever I need them. Then don't I? So and plus it just helps seal it up because the walls. There's been a lot of demo work in here. Um, they've pulled a lot of stuff out of. They've changed a lot of things, some walls have been taken off and stuff like that, skirt ball being pulled off, so there's dust in the air. So I just want to make sure that all the walls are sealed. All the dust that's on there is just steel, sealed and stuck down or it's off. So that's the main reason why we PVA and grit. Staircase, chase is done. Staircase wall, it might get a bit dark. I'll go up. Back bedroom, walls all bonded out. Chase is done, filled out to skirting line nicely. Some patches there. This back bedroom here, again, bonded out, it's dark, so you probably can't see much in there. Well, that one's that one's all bonded out as well. And as standard, Friday, leave the job spotless. Absolutely spotless. Over here, I've cut the boards for the window wall. Just didn't get a chance to stick them. And I've cut the wall, the boards for that wall there. Cut all the sockets out so they're ready to rock and roll. 
done that feeding up all the columns and stuff scrim tape the ceilings ready to go so this wall now has had all the boards cut and stuck on so all the front ones are on 